In this video, we will take a look at histograms along with normal and kernel density plots. So for reference, we are using the aggregated dataset as shown in the first video of this playlist. So I'll run all of these codes at first and then we will go through them one by one. So let's give it a moment to generate all the graphs. So this is a basic histogram. The code follows uh, by histogram followed by the variable that we would like to create the histogram of. And then in this case, I'm creating a, a note on the graph, which say, says default shows density. So we have the density of the variable on the y-axis, followed by the variable values in the x-axis. And the note that we have written is displayed on the graph. Now in the second graph, we are displaying the frequency instead of the density. So what we just specify that we would like to display frequency. And in this case, the graph shows frequency. Now let's overlay a kernel density plot. So this is a combination of histogram along with the kernel density plot. So the default shows the density and then we've overlaid a kernel density plot. So histogram followed by the variable name and then we have k density for kernel density and then we've had added a title in this particular case. Now if we would like to further customize the density plot, let's say we give the density plot red color and then we also overlay a normal density plot. So histogram followed by the variable name which is log of wage here and then kernel density but in this case i'm doing k density with k kernel density along with its options so k then opts and then the line color i am specifying is red and then we have a normal so this one specifies that we would like to overlay a normal plot and then i'm adding a title so this gives us this nice um, reasonably good histogram with a normal density and a kernel density plot but let's go further and let's now customize these lines as well. So we have histogram followed by the variable. This is the basic part of the command here. And then kernel density with options. So the line color is red, line style should be dash and line white should be thick. And then for normal, I'm adding normal options, line color blue, line white thick, and then I'm adding the title. And so this gives us this particular type of graph. And finally, if we would like to increase the space between all of the bars, we can do so by this section of the code here. So bar width followed by um, the number that we would go as input in this function, in this command. So let's go through it uh, from the first. So histogram followed by the name of the variable and then kernel density options. And we have all of the styles we are specifying and then normal options and then all of the styles we are specifying and then the title which says customizing the density plot and then bar width and then we've added note and we've added a two line note basically so each of the lines are in its own set of quotation marks so bar width number takes input of width of bar in the x variable units so this 0 0.08 that i've given as input is basically Seda is interpreting it in terms of the units of x variable so you can read further about this in the uh, documentation section and we can also choose the color opacity by specifying the color name followed by uh, the percentage symbol and then uh, how much opacity we would like it to demonstrate. So in this case, I'm doing color and then green 70%. So 70% uh, opacity for the green color here. So this is how we can create a kernel density plot along with the normal density plot and then overlay them over the histograms. So we've also learned uh, different ways of customizing the parts of graphs in data in this playlist. So with all of that together, we can create a nice publication quality histogram. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.